Hey Grievers, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for those in my Delanada 10 day group. I have announced just this afternoon that I'm canceling out that group. You know how you get in this creative mode and you're like, oh, I need to create this and I need to create that and I need to support people this way. And sometimes we make it so overcomplicated, but the beauty of it is, is that it's never too late to change something. It's never too late to adjust something. It's never too late to realize that something's not working. I think this is a really great message for everyone, right? It's never too late to realize that something is not working and just maybe we need to change something and just maybe things need to be adjusted. So big message for today, it's never too late to change. Um, so in saying that, I've closed down one of my other, a couple of my other groups and I'm bringing it all back into this group because there's a lot more people in here that I can help. And that's my main goal with what I'm doing is literally, I'm not just Jenny in front of a camera to, for giggles. Well, actually I do, but I'm really just here because I want to create some assistance for those people. I want to, I want to help people however I can and, and give you guys inspiration and, and some motivation and, um, and just, you know, in times like this where we're all we're all doing it tough, whatever I can do to contribute, because I know that energetically when we contribute, the world contributes back to you, and that's just the way of the law. So I am here in this space to, to do some fitness training. I'm doing polls every week. I will do a poll into the group as to what equipment you have at home you want me to train with, and um, I'll create workouts through the week. So throw them up at any time into the poll. And then also food-wise, there will also be a food poll. So please jump in and just join in, guys. Why not? what have we got to lose we've all got a bit more time so what I've done today what was requested today was um, to use a chair uh, some furniture so I've got a kitchen chair here I've got a washing basket was requested and I've got some dumbbells as requested so I'm gonna do like a whole body workout trust me none of it's traditional none of it's normal <laughs> and I only just made it up two minutes ago so bear with me have some fun hopefully we can have some giggles and i can't break anything because it's all kelsey's so if you see me panicking that's why uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be slow and steady wins the race we're gonna have fun we're gonna move our bodies um generally you want to warm up so make sure you've warmed up before this i've run around the yard a few times which is great but we're going to get into this today and we're going to use the whole body we're going to use all different equipment so every time like i said guys get in and just give me random things to try and make an, a, a training session out of um because my name is my business name in most things is delanada and did you guys i know a lot of you have seen it but do you actually know what delanada means delanada actually means to create or to make something from nothing so in saying that, that's what I want to be doing. It's what I love. I love helping people to create food from nothing, from like whatever random ingredient you've got in the house. I also like to do the same with fitness. And then when I get into teaching people about their genetics, with my genetic profiling, it's more about teaching people. A lot of people come back to scratch, like, you know, all that I've known, all that I've been is actually now not, is now the knowledge I have is that I have not been serving my greater good. So now what do I do? How do I start? Where do I start from? I start from nothing. That's my entire ethos. So please love, like, share, and do me a favor in cheering me along. Do me a favor in giving me your time and energy because that helps me to help you. So today's workout, let's give it a go. About 20 minutes, 25 minutes for those that want to go for it. Enjoy. So today we're going to start off with, so we start off with warmed up, maybe do some star jumps, maybe do some running, maybe do some skipping, whatever works for you. I did some skipping and some running around the yard because they're my favorite at the moment. So. This one, the TV, the the the, the um, kitchen chair, it's a side step. I have to be careful because of my height. Yay! Because of my height and because of my weight, I have to be very careful of this beautiful chair. So what it is is a side step. Let me turn that off. Shh. Silence. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're back. Okay. So. The side step is going to go a little something like this. You're going to have your hands on the feet, one leg over this side, and we're going to transfer our weight to the other side. Take your time, step up, control down. Step up, control down. So from here, I'm keeping in a squat, which keeps the glutes constantly engaged. So we're going to go for 30 seconds in an even pace. Ready? And go. Touch the ground, come back up. Touch the ground, come back up. <laughs> up, down, make sure you step in the middle, down, up, down, up, 
down. 10 seconds more. Our next challenge is with the basket. All right, you should feel a nice good burn through the glutes. So for those that love their booty bands, that one will out trump a booty band anytime. The next one was a basket. So I decided I would do a basket jump over. Sort of like a burpee, but not because we all hate burpees. So basket jump over, bear with me, is the basket in the middle. From here, you're going to do a squat, a push up, then coming up, jump over, basket, squat, a push up, stand up, jump over, and we do that for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Go. Squat. with the basket later for you guys so join in tell me what you think of the basket one jumping over because as you tell I'm a big person man me trying to jump not the easiest of things nice okay so now we're gonna go back to the chair you'll never look at a chair the same so from here we're gonna go step up and a kick back so everyone's raving about these booty bands that are well overpriced and we can be doing really simple exercises so again make sure it's a kitchen chair if you guys weren't watching before i almost stacked it hilarious don't want to break kelsey's chair okay so from here step up here nice and tall kick back if you need help the balance you've got the back here bring the knee in come back down Come up, kick the knee back, point for the wall, knee in, come down. See if you can do it without holding your hands now. Up, tall, kick, point the toe, squeeze the leg in, come down. We're going for 10 on each leg. Up, squeeze the toe back, point your toe, point your toe, squeeze it in, come down. Halfway, kick it back, here, come down. <laughs> this poor chair. Kick it back. Kelsey, if you're watching this, or Kelsey's mum, I'm being as careful as I can. Kick it back. Come in. Come down. Who else has been emotionally eating throughout this time? Even me as a coach. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am an emotional being. So for me, it's very important. Kick it back. Bring it in. When you're an emotional person, not giving anyone the right to not be eating well. But you know what? Sometimes when everything just falls apart, some of us just reach for comfort food. And you know the biggest mistake people make is judging it and crucifying themselves for doing it. Now that's not giving you a whole pass to spend a week eating shit food. But what I am saying is, it is okay to do whatever you have to do to come back to being okay again, to get through your day. For me, I know that it's either drinking or it's usually eating food. Who else is that? Who, what's, what's your advice for dealing with stress? I am done with that one. Dealing with stress, it is whatever it is that you can do to get through that moment. Okay, next one we're gonna do is dips. You all know dips. The joy of a chair is that it's nice and close. Thank you, Mandy, for commenting. Gives me <laughs> Yeah, these are Ikea. I think they are Ikea, but if they can hold my weight, they can hold anybody's weight. So, tips. Chest up, shoulders back. Bum just off the chair. And we're not trying to push away. We're just trying to slide our back straight down, bending at the elbows. No deeper than 90 degrees. Okay, guys, that can damage your, your shoulder rotator right cuffs. Coming all the way up, squeeze down. We're going to go for 15. If you can. If you can only do 10, that's cool. You might do this workout again and try and work your way up to 12 and try and work your way up to 15. Coming up, squeeze. squeeze. Push it all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. 
Nicely done, how was that? How was that? So before I get into my next part, next we're going into chair bridge with flies. I'm so excited because I can't do any chest flies on anything normally. And what I was doing before was playing around with the chair. I realized on a chair you can do chest flies with a glute bridge. So get yourself to the edge of the chair, shoulder blades against it, bum up into a bridge, nice and tight. So if I stick my the weights on my stuff, straight up, shoulders away from your ears, and we're going to go into a chest fly. So coming down, come out as, it's very controlled at the bottom part, and come as deep as you can control it. Which the really good thing about the chair is, it's going to stop me from going too deep, which means we're going to be protecting those chest muscles and those rotator cuffs. So just control movement, coming in, and we're going to do between 10 and 12, depending on how you feel. Please keep your glutes tight, don't let your bum drop. Control that section here, especially through the bottom. Control that movement. Squeeze. Coming up. Squeeze. Coming up. Keep your bum tight, core tight. Come up. Squeeze. Come up. Squeeze. We've got three more. Come on. One. Drop them down to the ground, carefully holding the back of the chair, slide yourself up, <laughs> push yourself up, sitting position, catch your breath. The next one I've written down is sort of like a mountain climber, so this is a core exercise, and what it will be is actually jumping over. So, like a mountain climber, we're going to flick our legs from one side to the other, to the other, to the other. And then we're going to roll over. I have a mat over here that the dog is happily occupying. Get off. And we're going to use the mat and we're going to lay on our belly and we're going to do it the other way, but I'll flick it so you guys can see the whole movement. So with this one, I might even go this way for you guys so you can see it. Get off the mat. And we're doing a core exercise, but it's also for our shoulders. So we're going to flick our legs from one side, flick them up and over to the other side. We're going to do 12 of those. Then we're going to flick it over the other way and we're going to lift our legs over. I'm trying to grate a carrot sticks and hummus when I'm snacking. Yeah, okay, so yes, yeah, so emotional eating. Let me do this one exercise and we're going to come back to emotional eating. So stay tuned. you're going to have five, six, now you put your teeth, legs straight, nine, and ten. Whew. I think I need to have a for a second. So, there we've managed to do the whole body, everything, using a washing basket, using the dumbbells, and a chair. <laughs> Like I said, guys, bring it on. Bring on the challenges. I dare you. Give me random things to play with. Whew, while we have our minutes rest, emotional eating is something everyone's done. I'm definitely holding for the emotional eating side of things. I'm someone who I feel everything, and so do so many of you. So it's not about making anything wrong, 
But the one thing I will admit, the best thing we can do is make sure we've got options in the house that are good to eat. And normally when you are emotional and you're looking for comfort food, it's normally something sweet. So make it with some better, sweeter choices. Things like fruit. If it's something savory, make it so it's something you've made yourself. Not proper chips or anything like that. Um, or make, maybe roast up some carrots or roast up some veggies or have it raw so you've got that crunch factor and dips are always a massive one. Someone requested that I do some more cooking videos around dips. I'm going to do that tonight so stay tuned. I will jump back in a little bit of time. I'll have a shower and then I will show you guys how to make a really cool quick dip um, using some roasted vegetables. So it would be like a leftovers dip and how to add some spices and flavors into that so that you've got something really delicious and yummy. Round two guys, so again, Yeah. And we're going for step overs. So from here, I'm feeling it in my legs. This is really, really good. So from here, feet on, sturdy, stepping up, replace the foot, step down. Step up, replace the foot, step down. And we're keeping a lot through our glutes. Three. jump a basket, you can jump a basket. Push up and jump. Squat. Push up. Back over we go. Squat. We're going two more rounds. Push up. Jump back over. Here, squat. If you need to do two legs like I just did, do that. Jump back over. Last one. Push up. Push up. Squat. Push up. And you're done. The next one is the booty band takeover. So using the chair, it is simply going to be, for those just tuning in, I was challenged to use a washing basket, a household furniture piece, so I chose the chair and some dumbbells. So from here, this exercise, we're gonna come up on each leg, 10 on each leg, come up, hold your weight, squeeze this glute, keep the toe back, if you need to use the chair for stability, do that, kick it back, bring the knee in towards the elbow, drop it back down, come back up, push up, squeeze that glute, keep that leg back, nice and straight, nice and strong, bring it in, come back down. So up, kick back, bring it in, back down, up, kick back, bring it in, back down, up. So we're aiming for 10 here, halfway, back down. Watch this knee in front of you, make sure it's not wobbling everywhere. Focus on your core, you're gonna need your core for this one. If you haven't got your core on, you're gonna lose your balance. Point it back, in, back down, up, kick, in, back down, change legs. Get yourself nice and balanced. Coming up, squeeze that glute. Kick that foot back, point your toe. Come in, tap back. Imagine that you're trying to take that knee and tap the wall behind you. Tap that knee, take that foot, the toe. Point the toe like a ballerina. Come back down, up. Point it back, in, back down, up. Point it back, stretch, in, back down. Up, point it back, in, back down. Two more. Up, point it back, in, back down. Last one I'm just gonna do on this angle. Uh, this way. So up, point it back, in, back down. 
Nice, right? Okay, our next exercise is just some dips. Pull from here, chest up, shoulders back, pull tight, and from here dipping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifteen. 11, chest up, shoulders back, 12, 13, not too deep, 14, 15, good job. Coming up, and from here, we're going to do a bridge with our glutes, and using our dumbbells, we're going to do a chest fly. You guys have got me as a silhouette now because of the light. So coming down, dumbbells on your stomach, back into that dip position, put yourself down, shoulder blades against the chair, Bring your bum up, wiggle your weight down so your shoulder blades are just on the edge of the chair. Bum up into a glute bridge and from here, opening out into a chest fly. Squeeze and come up and out. Squeeze two, we're going to 12, at least three, four. Keep those glutes nice and tight. Halfway. Open the chest out, eight. Open the chest out, nine. Ten. Squeeze your glutes, eleven. And last one, twelve. Bring them down, put them on your weight. Oh, so put them to the ground actually. Put them to the ground, reaching behind you. Lift yourself up carefully, hands to the base of the chair. Push yourself up and take a rest. From here, we're going into our basket jump overs. Grab your mat. And from here, mat down. And the aim of the game is you are jumping your legs from one side of the basket to the other. And I might just shift you lot. I might just shift you all. For some better lighting, how's that? Let's go. Yeah. Give that a whirl. Perfect. Okay, so basket, hands in the middle. Let's choose a side. And from here, we're going to jump from one side to the other. Up one, two, with the feet up, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, let's go, two more. 10, 11, 12, come down, turn yourself over, and then we're gonna do is, i go this way. Now we're gonna lift our feet up and over the basket. So, my basket, washing basket, up, over. And I'm just gonna lift my hands. Here we go, so it's ready, set, go to double one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, twelve, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Woo! Well, two guys, how was that? What are you guys going to challenge me with next time? What's it going to be? I think I did pretty well for two minutes to get that organized and figure out a workout using dumbbells, a washing basket. Yeah, I think that was great. I'm gonna put this in the text above. I would love to see you guys give this one a go or show me your variations. And remember, get into the polls that I've created in this group. I'm gonna do another round, get into the polls in the group and let me know what equipment you want me to start playing with. Let's get creative, let's use this time wisely and um and see what we can do uh love you guys to pieces thanks for joining in send me some love share this with a friend tag it with someone who might be at home bored and needing a little bit of inspiration and um stay fit stay healthy keep that mind on edge and uh i'll see you guys next time or stay tuned because shortly i'll be making dips yummy